Welcome to Getting Familiar with Windows Server 2016 Administration. My name is Matthew Stone and I'll be your instructor for this course. A little about myself. I have worked in IT longer than I'd like to reveal. My background, I've worked a lot with Windows Server and Microsoft technologies, more recently around the automation and the DevOps space. Over the last several years, I've also taken on writing, teaching, and speaking about technology. So let's take a look at the course overview. For what we'll learn, in Section 1, we'll be up and running with Windows Server, and we'll learn more about the different installation types and additions to pick the right one for your needs. In Section 2, we'll spend some time navigating Windows Desktop, learning more about the modern Windows interface, how to move around in the Start menu, and the search functions. Section 3 will be all about managing local users, groups, and installing and uninstalling Windows features. In Section 4, we'll cover security and networking little time with the Windows firewall and working with password policies. In Section 5, we'll move on to Active Directory, where we'll stand up our own domain controller and start working within local, our network, group policy, and users and groups. In Section 6, we'll work more with the DNS service that was installed with Active Directory, and then also install the DHCP service and set up a scope for our lab environment. Section 7, we'll tackle monitoring and backup, how to get some performance information from your system, and then how to back up and restore files. Section 8 will cover Hyper-V, more about creating VMs, the networking, and uh, spinning up whatever you need to extend your lab environment. And then we'll spend time in Section 9 recapping the troubleshooting steps that we had looked at throughout the course and then adding a little bit there. Prerequisites are fairly low here. You will need a computer that's capable of building multiple virtual machines. Uh, if you don't have that, if you'd like to use the cloud or you have bare, you know, physical machines, bare metal, whatever works for you as long as you have a way to build virtual machines or Windows Server 2016 instances. If you do not want to use Hyper-V, if you have another virtualization source that you really like, feel free to do that. It should all work the same. It's a fairly simple layout. It's just the ability to build multiple machines and connect them and work with them. Second, a basic knowledge of computer concepts is just assumed. So you should know memory, CPU, you should know what an IP address is and how networking works, all at the base levels here. But that's pretty much it. Beyond there, you should be ready to go. The goals for the course. I want you to learn about the versions of Windows Server, the different additions, the different installation types, and get comfortable installing and configuring those. Also getting comfortable with PowerShell. PowerShell is a scripting environment and a command line uh, that really helps you drive automation within the Windows Server world. Um, by the end of this course, hopefully you've learned enough to be a little bit dangerous in your day-to-day -day administrative tasks. 